this thing growing in here? Oh my god, there's a lot of things crawling. Another thing I'm going to do today is check some of my layers that are not growing. You guys have told me to check for flat lining. So I'm doing it. I'm going to check even though I really don't want to because I don't want to do <laughs> This is why I don't want to do that. Uh, if it's, I don't have my mic on, do I? <laughs> of course I don't. <laughs> my shirt is coming up. Oh my God. Where's my mic? <laughs> I can plug this. I don't know how I'm sitting on it. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if you guys heard any of that, but I almost had a heart attack. I think I'm officially throwing away this Cardinals. Ugh. It's not mites. It's worse. It's mealies. Oh my god. I freaking hate that plant. God dang it. <sighs> I'm wearing my loops. These are my glasses for work. And if you ever been to the dentist, you see your dentist or your hygienist wearing these glasses. They're called loops and they're magnified. And I just saw several, oh, I can see them from here. Several millis magnified. Oh my God. <sighs> that grossed me the freak out. So I saw a lot going on with this Carnosa. I am, I wish I could take a picture with how I, ugh. Maybe I can hold it up so you guys can see it. There's some mealies in there. Ugh, disgusting. But I also saw what I thought to be a white fly, but now I'm just thinking it's a mealy. Ugh, there it is. Ugh, okay, I'm throwing that plant out. I'm done with it. Anyways, ugh, oh my God. This is the other one, the Rosita, that has not been growing at all. And it is dusty, like how they say plants with flat mites, hoys with flat mites look, but I don't know if I did that. I don't know. I looked up pictures of it and this didn't quite look like what I thought because I saw it did have like spotting. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything crawling around on this plant. I would assume the mites would be moving. This is my other one. This is the one that was dropping leaves randomly. It's such a pretty color. So remember when I said, oh, it's turning black? It was just sun stressing. It's so pretty sun stressed. I really hope it starts to grow. And they feel limp kind of, these leaves. Looking at the back of them, I don't see anything. It just looks normal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything, guys. I'm glad I don't see anything. I'm just going to pull this. Oh, it's rotted. <sighs> Dang, it's rotted. But it's rotted up to there. Interesting. All right, where's the scissors? Scissors. I'm about to perform surgery here. Let's see if we can save this bad boy. I don't know why this rotted. It was growing so well. Do you think this is enough to root? This is all I have left of this plant to root it. Oh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Why didn't I pull it out sooner? I think I'm gonna put it in here actually and put a lot of water in there. There is another piece of stem in here, which yes, is also rooted. I mean, rooted, rotted, dang. This is the first Hoya that I lost in propagation. All right, I'm just gonna stick this in here with the other plant, which I didn't see anything on it. So I think it'll be okay if that's even enough stem for it to root. Ugh. Ah, there's stuff crawling around in the pool. <laughs> We're gonna take it out. Oh, there's stuff crawling around in the pool. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. Okay, 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 we're taking this out now. Oh God. Ugh. Maybe the mics were in the fluval. Is that how mites work? I thought from what I read, they're on the leaves. Thank goodness this is rooted already. 
I'm gonna rinse this off. And let me take these glasses off. I'm gonna rinse this off real good. And then I'm going to just pot it up into a pond and hope for the best. All right, same container, new substrate. I really wanna use pond, but the pond that I have is not clean. So I'm gonna use LECA. And I don't know why I've been on the verge of killing this ever since I got it. I'm sorry, Lex, I really do love this plant, but for whatever reason, I'm terrible with it. I don't know what that was. I don't know, guys, if that was mite, flat mites or broad mites or what have you. It was in the flu ball. It wasn't uh, on the plant. So do flat mites or broad mites grow in the soil, live in the soil as well? I don't know. I honestly wasn't able to watch the video. Uh, one of you guys had linked a video in the comments for me to look at and i honestly didn't get a chance to look at it yet but i was ready to kind of check the plant so i have to look at it and see all right we're gonna take it from the top of this ovovada and hopefully i don't kill it i repotted this one i put the waliana waliana on it and with the rosita they were clear as far as i could see the dogs are pressing the remote. So what I learned is that if I use Fluval to propagate my Hoyas, I need to get them out sooner. I get lazy and I like to leave it in there forever, especially since it's already in a nice vessel. I'm not in a rush to get it out. But with Fluval, I need to get it out once I see new roots. Do not leave it in for a long period of time. Lesson learned. a bunch of hanging pots I want to prep a bunch of plants so I'm gonna take some cuttings from a lot of my vining plants so that I can start propagating them to make hanging baskets I think I do want to make one out of this syngonium even though I know they get larger as they climb but I also want to do my variegated epi I mean not variegated epi variegated philodendron look how beautiful it is i definitely want one of these but i'm gonna wait until this leaf comes out and until i get a bit more roots in the moss pole and then i'll chop it so i'm gonna leave that for now let me grab some scissors i'm just throwing the cuttings in this little jar for now what's gonna be interesting is how i'm gonna propagate this because all of these plants that are going to be on the hanging wall are definitely going to be in soil because they're going to be hanging from the wall and so i want it to be light and i have not propagated for soil in a very long time so oh, oh this is nicely rooted that's a good one so what i'm thinking of doing i think i'll leave it there maybe i'll do one more if i could see where the thing is at I'll take this last leaf. This has been in here for quite, oh no, that was a bad idea. <laughs> this one must be rooted, yeah, I can see. It's rooted all the way down to here, so I'm gonna have to leave that one that I just cut, unfortunately. Oh, I did not know Albos did that, like the way that Hoyas do. It's very sappy. All right, we'll put that one back. And then I'm just going to throw them in this little thing while I, there's nothing in here. I'm just putting them in here while I grab the rest of my cuttings. This one's going to be a little difficult because do you see how tight these internal spaces are here? And then I'm a little concerned because this last leaf is all white, whereas I had some green down there. I think I'm going to start this completely over. This is a Snow Queen. So I want to put plants on the wall that are going to be easy, obviously, and that don't need, that don't absolutely need a whole ton of light to just survive. I don't really care if the plants 
thrive and grow crazy fast because it's going to be harder to maintain that wall if they do. Do I want to make this single nose? They're so tight. I'm going to pull these off, actually. I'm going to pull these leaves off so that I can put it in the substrate to root easier. So we got all these nodes and we got an aerial root there. So that'll be one. So sad because these leaves are so pretty. Hmm. It'll grow new ones. This one grew pretty fast and easy. And then I'll take you over here. I have this huge marble queen pothos here trailing down. And I'm going to wait on that because there's a ton of roots in there. I know you can't see through all the algae, <laughs> but there's a ton of roots in there. I, maybe I want to make a second plant. Do I want to make a second plant? Yeah, let's do that. I'll take some from that also and make a second plant. So this whole thing here. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Why not? Why not? What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make a bunch of single node cuttings for this one. Yeah. And then I have a whole entire nether one down there as well. I might as well take that because that's been sitting in water forever. And I just haven't done anything with it. I also have some plants over here. Yes, they are climbing, but they also would look nice trailing, which I definitely want to do with my Lano Cardi. I think that would be beautiful trailing as well. I'm thinking, if you can see, there's a huge gap here. And so I'm thinking of actually chopping it all the way down to there and then rooting this. I'll cut it several times and root it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I haven't done something like this in a long, oh, I forgot these are all connected by zip ties. <laughs> I'll chop it here. These nodes, um, probably just gonna get rid of. I do want this to be a really nice full pot. And I know that every node is not going to survive. I'm excited to do this. I haven't done something like this in a long time. I've just been spending a lot of time just growing my plants out to their fullest potential and not really like styling them so it's exciting to be able to style my plants <clears throat> and like i said i'm choosing plants for the wall that are pretty hardy at first i was like gonna go and see what i could find in the store and i'm like why why go buy anything when i have so many okay this is giving off a lot of sap let me not it's getting all over my fingers because i was just gonna go buy a couple of nice full hanging planters to put in there of just you know some variety pothos and philodendrons easy binding plants and then i was like on do you have a ton of plants make you one out of all the plants you have what did i cut this off of it doesn't have a, oh it does have a note it's just so faint all right we're looking good we're looking very very good I need to make plants for the plant wall. You can't even tell. It's still really long and beautiful. But it still hangs and it still climbs. I didn't cut so much that it looks like. But now where I cut it, you see how bushy this vine is? Those ones are going to become like that. Now that I cut it. It's going to get bushier. So I have a ton, ton, ton of cuttings. And I'm gonna do something a little different from what I normally do to propagate, only because, as I mentioned, these plants are gonna be going into soil. I could just propagate them in water and then put them in soil, but I guess I just wanna try something new. <laughs> I just wanna try something new and see how it works. So what, cause then I was like, oh, I'll just propagate it in perlite. I was gonna use regular perlite. 
Basically, I want to use something that's the closest to the soil that it's going to be in. And I don't really want to propagate in soil. So let me show you guys what I'm going to do. I have some cocoa chips mixed with the, um, there's like the chunky cocoa chips and then there's like these fine ones and then there's some random sphagnum moss in here. So I think what I'm gonna do is mix in with that a bit of chunky perlite and then regular perlite because this stuff, it holds a little moisture but not a whole ton, I feel like. Mia, can you stop making all that noise? Oh, this bag is not open? I, thought this, I know I have an open bag, but I'm not getting up. I'm adding the perlite. I would just propagate it in regular perlite, but I don't know. I want to try something new. This is not a perlite, but it's so dusty. I don't want to add any more, so I'm just going to use this chunky one. I like to propagate in, in a substrate that is close to what it's going to be like in permanently. And so I don't really want it to form water roots. If I propagate it in water, it'll form water roots. And it, will it can still be successful. But like I said, I'm just experimenting here and trying something else out. So that is why I'm doing this. For the Brazil, it is quite a lot of cutting. So I'm going to use this bigger, bigger container. And how I'm going to use this propagation substrate is just to, I'm going to try to keep it as moist as possible. It does have a drain hole, but that's why I added the chunky perlite so that it could keep some moisture. This we're going to make, this, this isn't going to work. I'm sorry, we're going to have to lose you. There's a, these have such long internodal spaces. We're going to have to chop them shorter. This um, stem is so thick, like it's so thick, beautiful. This Brazil is definitely one of my favorites. Oops. To water these, I'm going to um, really drench it in the sink and then I'll spray a little bit of my fertilizer water on top of it. And I'm going to keep these like right in my room, right in front of my face under a lot of light so that I keep them well watered. The next ones are these little pretty little mandrulas. snap snipped s cut <laughs> I cut the mess out of my finger all right so moving on I'm just gonna put all of these together I know they're all different things but they're just gonna all go together okay let's not do that again let's do it this way This is so pretty. I really don't want to cut this. It's so pretty. Here we are. This is the Pothos mix. <laughs> the Pothos mix. There is Marble Queen, Snow Queen, and Manjula in here. So these I will separate out once it's ready. I do wish I had tree fern fiber. I would like to use tree fern fiber. I think that would be a great transition. 
for soil. Okay. That's that one. Someone may ask, um, you know, what's the difference between propagation, propagation substrate and a regular substrate? Because obviously a lot of people use these very things in their soil mix. And I would say that I would say propagation substrate is something that's more conducive to plant growth, new plant growth. So substrate that can stay moist longer. Um, so you may see people that using for sure, you know, just perlite, straight perlite, because it holds moisture well, but it also has aeration, but that's not something maybe you want to plant in long term, just because it doesn't have much substance to it. Like it's just, this is a long root. It's very light and it doesn't have any weight to it. So it doesn't provide a lot of sturdiness for the plant. I do feel like in chunky perlite, I do get nice chunky roots, which is part of why I am propagating this, these plants that way, this way. So the last is these pipers, which I'm really nervous about because the last time I tried to propagate a piper, I put it in water and it just rotted away. So I'm hoping that putting it in this chunky mix will work out better this time. I really, I really hope I don't kill these piper cuttings. Like I really, really hope I don't kill them because I really love this plant. I mean, it's okay, I guess, because the other part of the plant is fine. It's, it'll just be having to grow back, but I would just be annoyed that I chopped it and it died. How do you guys propagate your pipers? Because I have not had success yet. So this is what I have prepared so far for the plant wall. Um, maybe I'll throw up on the screen some ideas that I have of different items that I want to use to hang the plants on the wall. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are liking. I will throw that up now. I'm leaning, excuse me, I'm leaning towards doing just like two larger fixtures and maybe two or three smaller ones. So here are the ones that I like. And I kind of want to play with different shapes and things. I don't want it to just be one shape or just a flat shelf. So that's why I have all these different options there. So yeah, let me know in the comments what do you guys think about these plant shelves that I'm looking at. It's a long, it's gonna be a long process. So I have to figure out the whole light situation as well. Light does reach the wall that we're gonna be putting it on, but not as much obviously because it's further back to the entrance, not as close to the window. So that is where we are the last and most dreadful part of today i have been putting off dealing with this <laughs> for a very long time it honestly looks like there's not much left to deal with and it's because i've been putting it off because i was really sad guys i was really sad that i lost this plant i can tell right now it's rotted to the core oh god so I lost this plant in the move. I thought I'd be, I honestly thought it would come back on its own, but it's clear that it was not. I thought that it was because this was kind of new. All right, I'm just gonna dump this whole thing into the trash and look at it in there. All right, hopefully you guys can see. Okay, dirt everywhere, lovely. Good news is I see white roots. So that is very good. I see a lot of white roots, okay. Okay, are they attached to the plant still is the question. They are not, okay. <laughs> okay. So it's definitely not as bad as I thought it was. These are definitely healthy and attached here. I think, I don't know, maybe I'm not giving it enough light because I just would chop it and every time I chopped it, the top would still rot. So, oh, wow. So are these healthy? These are firmly attached. Okay, there are some that Okay, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> there are some that are firmly attached and some that are not. Okay, 
All right, I'm gonna try it again to chop this and then this is where a leaf should come out of, but I keep doing it and it keeps rotting at the top. But I'm gonna try it again because I really, really love this plant. And honestly, finding one the size that I had for the price that I got it is next to impossible. I'm looking for my scissors. I got this huge, you saw it in that big pot that I had took it out of. It had so many leaves. I'll put the picture on the screen. It was such a beautiful plant. Like, I almost cut my finger again, oh my God. It was such a beautiful plant. And it was just too much. The move was way too much for it. And leaves all dropped. It dropped all of its leaves, basically. I think it was maybe left with two leaves and then eventually those gave up as well. But I potentially have four plants here still. It's interesting, some of these roots, they do look healthy until you touch it and you feel that it's squishy. And then a lot of them are dried out. This all here is kind of mushy and rotty. And this whole bottom part is yellow, actually. So I don't even know. Do you see, like, this whole thing is yellowed. I don't even know how to propagate a Diffenbachia. This is, oof, that smells funny. Okay, now what should I do with this? I'm gonna put this in Chunky Perlite. I'm gonna put this in Chunky Perlite and see what it does. I feel like Chunky Perlite is the safest thing when you don't know what to do, like, because it'll hold the moisture, but it'll still, it won't like, let the moisture sit around the plant. So this, because this is so thick and juicy, I'm gonna let this callus a little bit before I put it into the chunky perlite. I just wanna see something. This is the part I cut it off from, but I cut it because it was all yellow. Yeah, it's like not green, it's just complete. It's all right, okay. It doesn't look the same as this, how it has the outer green layer. This is straight yellow, so I feel like this is no good, but this is good. Only thing I'm concerned about is that this is not, should I have used my self-watering pot for this? No, I, I mean, I could, I need to get some black self-watering pots. I have black self-watering pots. I prefer to use self-watering pots when I'm using soil because it's just easier for me, but they're white <laughs> and I don't like white pots for my room right now. It's not looking like much right now, but you know, you know how that goes. And for the other one, like I said, I'm going to put it into chunky perlite. I'm just reusing this from previous uses. I am a little concerned. It has dried out a little bit, but I probably would like to dry it out a little more. But the way my time is set up, time is now. Let me know in the comments below if you got any of you guys have ever propagated a different bakia. I never have, so I have no idea how this is gonna go. I feel like I'm gonna lose this one, but you never know. Okay, that's enough. So I really hope that I can, I'm able to save these different bakis. I feel like I'm doing a lot of rescuing lately. You guys probably will, uh, well, by have now seen my um, big box store plant rescue mission that is still ongoing and it's actually going pretty well So I can't wait to update you guys on that as well If you're interested in the soil that I, you've seen me use a couple times in this video feel free to watch this video here